Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley on a very rainy Sunday, the 21st of summer. Boreda Yoko. Oh, no, I was uh, not close enough, apparently. Boreda Yoko and Boreda to all of you as well. Now, let's begin the day the right way. We're checking in on the weather report. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Mm, that makes me a little bit concerned. I do worry that how infrequently we've had rain... This may indicate that this is going to be the last rainy day that we have of this season. Which, I mean, all the plants will be watered. Uh, we've got a couple of fish that I would like to try and catch before the season's out. So that's definitely something that we're going to check in on today then. And let's check in on Wellick. Uh, Wellwick. Uh, oh, good humor. So yes, fishing is probably a pretty solid idea for today then. There are at least... Mm, two or three I want to say two but it might be three ocean fish that I might only be able to catch in this season greetings it is I the queen of souls here to teach you a new mouth watering recipe from my secret cookbook this week's dish Maki roe the delicate flavor of the ocean sealed within a pillowy cloud of rice maybe a bit of wasabi for the adventurous my mouth is watering as we speak oh how I love sushi you and me both and uh, very uh, appropriate, I guess, considering... Oh, I was uh, going to be going fishing today. Good morning, Mr. Avic. Good morning, Money. It's horribly raining. Do you not have an umbrella? Perhaps I could find a coat or something? I don't think I've got an umbrella, so why should I be that shocked that you don't? I came by to ask a favor. Since you're such a kind neighbor, I'll certainly do what I can. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat. Cave carrots. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you could bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance? I think I've got a couple you can take back with you right now. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9am and 5pm with a cave carrot. You make an old girl very happy. I will be more than happy to, but uh, honestly, you could have had one before you left. Uh, there we go, I will pop that in there. Uh, okay, bring a cave carrot to mine. We've got a couple of uh, quests along those lines now, don't we? Uh, the melon is for Demetrius. Cave carrot is for Marnie. Let's pop that back up on there. Uh, hmm, actually. You know what? I do believe, I say I do believe. Oh, or before we check the mail, I'm going to go and check in on the chickens. But I do believe that we are going to be able to go and pop that uh, mushroom into the uh there we are into the uh community bundle there we go and these eggs can stay in there for now i'll uh, hopefully swing by and check those out shortly now then let's have a look at this mail dear neighbor when i'm not taking care of animals i like to experiment in the kitchen since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this. Marnie. Oh, thank you so much, Marnie. Right, you know what? Well, it's still a little bit early, so we might not be able to immediately swing by and deliver this. But uh, we can certainly make our way into the uh, into Cinder, uh, Cinder Sap and see the merchant to them, perhaps swing by and uh, speak with Marnie as well. Now, I do believe there are there's at least a few river fish that I haven't caught, and I suspect there's... Is there one that I haven't got yet from... Oh, wow. Um, from summer, I don't recall. I'll be honest. Ooh, cactus fruit. We want that. Uh, anything else? Uh, nothing else I really want to grab, actually. Nothing else I really super want to grab. The cactus fruit, absolutely. That's another item that I believe. Yes, marvelous. Another item that we can pop into the uh, the community bundle. Thank you very much, traveling merchant. Now then, we're rather unfortunate in that uh, the community bundle that we've got, specifically for the pantry, which is the one that we really want to open up because it gives us the greenhouse, requires an ancient fruit. That's going to be hard for us to get. That's sincerely going to be a difficult one for us to uh, to get and take care of. But we'll try. We'll do what we can. Um, it may, in fact, come down to the 
wandering merchant, actually. The traveling merchant, rather. I say wandering. Uh, I don't know. That, that's kind of more of an RPG thing, I think, in my head. Uh, okay, some green algae. I, I certainly won't say no, I suppose. I can always nom it down. Uh, okay, t uh, I, uh, whilst I won't say no, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm happy for it, though. Just, just putting that out there, River. Okay, fair enough. River is saying no. Go away. This is all you're going to get from me today. That is most unfortunate. I will come back later and see if I can't uh, poke my nose in and uh, change your mind. I, I don't know. Oh. Hello. Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Mr. Abak. You're more than welcome, Marnie. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. I mean, you can if you want. I've got quite a few. Almost. Well, I mean, not on me. I'd have to go back to the farm, but... I hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. More than welcome, honey. Well, that was lovely. Wipe your feet. Already done. Thanks again for helping me out. You're more than welcome. Uh, okay, well, that's already taken care of, so uh, we don't have anything more we need to do there. All right, well, I think we're going to head on over to the beach. Going to head straight down to the beach, I think. Uh, it's nice and early. We should be able to get a little bit uh, of proper fishing done, I should imagine. Now, let's uh, head on straight down here. There we go. Uh, right, are we going to see much around? I mean, we could go to... Actually, I don't even think we can talk with the Mariner. That's the interesting thing. I don't think we can actually speak with the Mariner uh, and, and uh, actually get anything out of it other than, than them saying that uh, they don't think we're ready. Fair enough. I mean, they, they know their business, I suppose. But... Right. Let's see what we can catch. Oh. Nice. A max cast. Now, what are the odds we can also get a perfect max cast? Right, okay. Oh, already flubbed it. Much sadness. No perfect max cast. That would have given us a quite a hefty uh, bit of a uh, bit of EXP. But oh well. Another max cast, though. Another opportunity of greatness. Thank you very much, fishing. There we go. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, you're a little bit more lively. Try to keep the barber a little bit closer to the top because you can make faster adjustments upwards than you can downwards. Now, what I'm looking for here, I believe, if my memory serves, is an octopus. Uh, or a red snapper. I'd also take a red snapper. Oh, my lord. I don't want you. There's no way I can get you yet. I, I mean, you know... I'm I'm as I'm, I'm as up for a challenge as the next person, but there's there's a challenge and then there's hopeless defeat. I'm not as keen on the latter, all things considered. Right, but I, I do believe that the octopus is particularly important uh, because we are not going to be able to get. Well, actually, I, hmm, I think the octopus may actually be able to be caught. Outside of uh, rainy days. Hmm. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a long while. So, uh, But I'm fairly certain that there's at least one ocean fish that I'm not going to be able to catch outside of a rainy day in summer. So uh, we're going to hang tight here until about three, four, I think. Then I've got a couple of things that I want to pick up from, the, uh, from Pierre's. So we will be heading over there. In the not too distant future, my lord. Okay, well, all I'm getting there is red snappers, so I'm going to change my position. But yes, I shall bring you back in a little while. Okay, we've got plenty of newspapers, red snappers, mu uh, red mullets, tilapias, flounders, seaweed of all varieties. It's time for us now to head back up. I need to drop in to PAs. I've got a couple of things that I would actually like to purchase if I can. Namely, I don't recall if I made a purchase of any wheat or poppies. I'm fairly certain I didn't get any poppies. And I do want to grab some. So let's uh, grab a couple of bits of wheat. There we go. Uh, two poppy seeds. That'll be very nice. And sure, let's grab two sunflower seeds as well. I think that'll actually be quite nice. Now, the red snappers 
are very, very important for us. And uh, I will go and show you why in just a moment. Hello there. Most people stay indoors on days like this. It's not good for business. Uh, well, actually, while I'm here, you can have this. And, uh, yeah, that's all you can have for now. Thank you. We have uh, a decent amount of items that we should be able to pop into the community center. Which I'm extremely pleased with. I always go to the left when I should be going to the right. Right, okay. So, first and foremost, we have got some fish. Finally. Uh, ocean fish. There we go. Tonk. Bundle complete. Marvellous. And we have got warp totems for the beach. Very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, was there anything else we needed over here to drop off? I don't think there will be. Um, no, I don't think we've got anything else. Oh. Oh. We've unlocked a new uh, bundle group, or rather a new room. Have a quick look at that. So that will be the vault. Pretty much this is just excessive amounts of money. Uh, we'll try and do what we can for that, but uh, we may we may struggle. Uh, four crops? Oh, no, no, no. It's not going to be the crops, this one. What we need here are... And yeah, this this is the real one that's going to be the problem, is the ancient fruit. That's going to be tricky, because we can't grow that normally. It's it's a 28-day grow, I believe, on that one. Uh, where would the, the geode be? I forget which room needs it. But because it's 28 days, it means that the crop won't be ready in the same uh, season you planted. It's either summer... Or autumn, as I recall. Or in a greenhouse where it will always be able to be grown. But because that's one of our bundles required for the pantry, that's how we get the greenhouse. So it's going to be a little bit of a little bit of a potch for us. Ah, there we are. That's dye bundle there. Field research bundle? Oh, yes, field research bundle. Okay, bulletin board it is. But yes, that, that particular bundle for the, the pantry was a bit of bad luck for us, honestly. A bit of bad luck. Right, here you go. And we want the frozen geode as well. Marvellous. Oh, actually, I've got that mushroom, and that mushroom is, in fact, needed in the uh, in the crafts room. We need to pop it into the autumn forage bundle. Let me go and do that now. There we go. Forage complete. Marvellous. Okay, now with that one done... Uh, we probably now, well, to be honest, we can go ahead and, hmm. well, there's river fishing, there's also lake fishing. Um, let's go and see Demetrius, though, if we can. I wouldn't mind delivering the, the melon that we're holding on to for him. Hello, mate. Greetings. Stay inside if you want to keep warm. That's very, very kind of you. Here you go. You wanted a melon. This is perfect. It's just what I need for my research. It's going to be hard not to eat it. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome, buddy. Enjoy. And I will enjoy the f cool 500. Nice. Uh, we're not good enough, friend. Oh, what? Oh. Well, that was amusing. Demetrius, I didn't tell you to get tomatoes. I said to get fruit. Uh, I don't understand. Tomatoes are fruits. When a normal person says they want fruit, they never mean tomatoes. It doesn't matter what the scientific classification is. I see. I I have issue with you saying a normal person. That, that I I uh, I don't know. I like eating tomatoes as fruit. I I just don't know what else to say. Avak, I'm glad you're here. You'll be able to put this argument to rest. How would you classify a tomato? It is a fruit. And if this this is the honest this is the honest thing. If someone asked me this question, and specifically this question, if someone said, Avak, what's a, what's a tomato? I would say a fruit. There would be no part of me that would say a vegetable. But if someone asked me, would I put tomato in a fruit salad? I would say no. It may be a fruit, but the use 
I, I kind of agree with Robin in that if someone asks for a fruit, common sense tells me they're probably not looking for a tomato, even though it is a fruit. But if someone asked me to classify a tomato, I would tell them it was a fruit. It is a fruit. See, Avak agrees with me. It's because it is a fruit. You didn't phrase the question correctly. I just want you to understand my point of view. It's hard for me to know exactly what assumptions I should make when you tell me something. But I'll try to get better at it. Well done, Demetrius. That was a very diplomatic way of solving it. Thanks for your help, Avak. You're more than welcome, mate. Uh, it's one of those... One of those <sighs> Knowledge, uh, what is it? Intelligence is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. And wisdom is knowing that you don't put tomatoes in fruit salads or something. Something to that to that tune. You know what? I think we're going to go river fishing. I haven't fished in the river just uh, north of Joja Martin, just south of the mountain in a long while. Let's go and do that. I could even fish from the bridge. I think that would actually be quite nice. But yeah, it, it's it's one of, the, one of those things. I guess it's a bugbear for some people, I, I think. Right, let's get down there and do a little bit more fishing. Actually, let me let me organize let me organize my uh, my inventory a bit. I know what fish I've got over there. I don't need to see any more of them. Oh my lord, I've got so many fish. Too many fish. My goodness. I wasn't expecting today to be so bountiful, but here we are. Alright. A little bit more fishing time. I mean I've got to make good use of the rain while it's here. Okay, I think this is going to be the last cast of the night. We have been rather fortunate. We've got pikes, breams, shads, trash. We've got several treasure chests. Uh, one of them contained ten gold, uh, copper ore. Gold ore, that would have been amazing. But ten copper ore. But uh, I think this is going to be more than good enough for now. Let's go ahead, and I believe that uh, the river fish... We've now got the shed, which we can just go ahead and add straight away. That's actually pretty amazing. We've got so many fish there. I'm very, very happy with this. In fact, let's uh, just double check. Do we get anything else that might go in there? No, unfortunately. We'd already placed the, the bream uh, in in the, the bundle. Oh, well, well that was uh, still a very, very productive fishing day. I'm really happy with that, actually. We managed to get a lot of fish. Oh, someone has said uh, this a few times. <gasps> you can? Well, my comments weren't telling me fibs. You can, in fact, fish in the pond. Uh, you've just got to cast it properly. Apparently. Come on. Okay, fine. I'm not going to pass out because I was fishing in the fountain, okay? That is not on today's agenda. However, we do have a fire quartz that we can now take over to uh, to Gunther and see if uh, he would like to tell us a little bit about it. We've also got five wheat seeds, two poppy seeds, and two sunflower seeds. Now, everything here, except for the sunflower seeds, will be able to be harvested in the time that we have left. However, the sunflower seeds, which can't be harvested in that time, that's going to be fine, because we don't actually need to to harvest them this season. Those can be uh, left for for next. Oh, we don't have any coal. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, those can be left until uh, for uh, autumn. Though, if I understand correctly, we should still be able to place those. Uh, and they will survive. I think... I don't think we've got a tilapia in there. No, we don't. We've certainly not got a, a shad. Uh, is that called a shad? I, uh, I assume so. Um, we'll drop that off. We'll drop those off. The rest can go into the uh, the shipping bin, actually. that's It's going to be a pretty nice day today, all things considered. In terms of the amount of uh, items we've got there, that should actually uh, give us a good, tidy little profit. Right, let's uh, go and grab the mayo as well. Uh, we should be able to pop in another one of the eggs as well. There we go. So many things to do, though. Oh, my lord. All right, let's go and pop down this last little bit over here. Now, I don't recall, sadly, how much I have already taken care of in regards to 
the uh, poppies. I may have already planted poppies. In fact, I may well have already planted uh, wheat. But I would like to try, and just on the off chance that I didn't, we're going to place a little bit down over here. Now, let me have a quick look. What do I require for speed grow? Clams. As well, hmm. Coral and oak rice. Ah, oh, if I hadn't put the coral in there already. Damn it. That would have been amazing. Uh, alas. I, I could use this clam. Hmm. Sure. Let's, let's get some five speed grow. So we want pine tar. Uh, there we go. And then we want all of these. Oh, we've actually already got speed grow. Never mind then. Don't need to use it. Perfect. That is marvelous, in fact. Let's go ahead and craft us a bunch of fertilizer. And very quickly go and get all of this planted. But that's very useful. Very useful indeed. So, four down here. We're going to have two poppies and two sunflowers. And then the rest of this will be for wheat. There we go. We don't actually need her on the wheat. Uh, realistically, I, there was no reason for me to have used the speed grow there. I should have used the regular fertilizer. That was a bit silly of me, but oh well. Tis done now. Tis done. The main thing is I didn't waste the clam, which I only have one example of. Uh, though I'm fairly certain that we don't already have a peach, which is actually quite nice. Excellent. We now do have a peach. Perfect. Uh, let's drop off the clam. Drop off the pine tar. There we go. And then also pop in the mayo. I know I could have I could have rushed and gotten into bed in time that I wouldn't have had a a malice on my my energy, but ah it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It is time for us to have a well earned snooze. No star Yoko. I'm a little bit surprised I didn't get a get a level in fishing, honestly. We did wow, 1637's worth of fishing. My lord, the three iridium red mullets did quite well for us. Quite well indeed, I approve. 2,122 gold. Not bad. Not bad, I must say. All right. Well, now then, depending on the uh, on our luck forecast, we might head into the mines today, I'm thinking. But let's check on the weather report for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. And how are the spirits feeling, Welwick? Uh, neutral today, you know what? Neutral's good enough. And living off the land. Let's see. Most towns have a seasonal calendar in front of the general store. It's a good idea to check on that now and then to get a feel for what's going on in the community. Make sure to check for any job postings as well. Pretty good advice, to be fair. Pretty good advice. Right. First and indeed foremost, we've got a massive harvest. But Yoko needs some water. There you go. Enjoy, Yoko. Right, let's go and say hello to the chickens. And also, let them out. There we are. Oh, there we go. Some uh, Another big egg. Thank you very much. Let's uh, grab these. We've got, actually got two now. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's drop these off. Hello. There we go. Right, let's get some of the hay in place. But you know what? We could just take... Hmm. Uh, can I not grab? Oh. I need to take... Oh, okay, fine. I need to take 10 to the community center. Uh, there should be a way that I'm going to be able to uh, trick the system into letting me do that, but uh, we'll cover that in a moment. First, oh my lord, I've got a lot of watering to do. I will see you back here when I'm done with that. And there we go. All the watering is done. It's just coming up to 11 a.m., to uh, to get everything done that we needed to do. Now, once we've got some sprinklers, this is, of course, going to be significantly easier. But for now, this is just the... Oh, what? Was it just too spicy around here or something? I didn't realize forage could just show up around there. Okay, fair enough. That was rather interesting. But uh, it will t make things so much easier for us. But uh, for the time being, it is going to take us a little while to... to, uh, to get all of the the planting done we're gonna probably keep our uh our farms 
to a modest size. Probably just this, honestly. Until we get to the point where we have got sprinklers to take some of the load off. Because otherwise we're going to spend an inordinate amount of our time rushing around trying to, uh, trying to take care of all of the watering, sadly. And it does... It does take a lot out of you. So I think that's uh, that's where we're going to be leaving it for now in terms of the expansion of our fields. But we've also got a, uh, a mail to check in. Come by the shop and check out the new roads I'm selling. Uh, rods. Roads. They're the best money can buy, and you can customize them with different kinds of tackle. Hope to see you soon, Willie. Ooh, now that is actually a very good news. Maybe we will make a, make a uh, stop by there. Uh, I do, however, need a chest, so let's go ahead and make one of these. Now, I mentioned that there is a way that you can take care of the needs of having more uh, hay than just like one that you can take out normally. And that is, simply put, you pop it all into a chest. So we're going to pop a little chest right there. And uh, while we're in here, may as well take care of all of this as well. There we go. And we can pop this in there. Punk. Now, this does kind of take a little while, but uh, it, it's a thing that we need to do. Because we need ten of these for the... Now, what I should have done is wait for the chickens to eat all of that. And then I could have been pulling this out at three a time. But I was a bit silly and didn't really uh, plan forward. But uh, we will be able to use this now to go and hand in at the community center, which is uh, quite a lovely, I think. Now, with that done, I think we're gonna head on down. Yeah, I think with 5,000, we should go and check in on Willie and see if uh, he has one of those new rods for sale. I think that would actually be rather marvelous. I'm not sure if we're gonna do much in the way of fishing today. I'm kind of leaning more towards it being a mining day. Hello, Marnie. I love animals, Mr. Avak. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. Well, it is pretty much a guarantee that we're going to be best of friends. Hi, Mr. Avak. Hello, Jazz. Hopefully you're having a good day. All right, well, let's uh, pop on down. Hello. Summer is nice, but it also means more work. Uh, yes. Yes, it does. That is very true. All right. Well, certainly for a farmer, it does. Let's head down and see what Willie has to say. Hello. I'm going to get such a nice tan this summer. I am sure you will. There you go. Have a nice week. <gasps> For me? Thank you. You're more than welcome, Haley. Right. Oh. Even if we had made the uh, speed grow, we would have been able to replace it. Always nice to see. All right. Okay then, Willie. You're about to take an awful lot of my money. Uh, but... It is required. Okay, maybe maybe not. Actually, on the <laughs> that was that was hopefully that was hopelessly hopeful on my part. Willie, really, you're not taking my money. I guess I'll take a uh, crab pot though. In fact, uh, I'll take two, two crab pots. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be coming down here fairly regular, so why not? Eh? Now I could put those on my on my farm though. Because obviously, I'm, I'm at my farm, especially regular like. But no, let's let's have uh, one or two down here. One there, one there, and let's just take out my bait. That way, I can load the both up. There we go. That should do fine. Right, off we go then. Let's head on over to well, Gunther first. I've got a couple of things I need to show him. I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. Very well, Vincent. I'm sure you will achieve this. It's fun to live on a farm. It is. It's actually very fun. A lot of work, but very fun. All right. Let's see. Do we have any any corals around? No, nothing. Nothing particular. I believe that rainbow shells. It's the only time you can get them is in the summer. That seems to ring true in my memory, for what it's worth. So it's probably best to always check because you're not going to be able to get uh, get them outside of the season. Right, let's go and see what Gunther has to say about my glass shards and my fire quartz. Not about my my uh, peppers, no, 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 nor this. There we go. Donate to the museum, please, and thank you. I would like to donate some fire quartz. There you go, and um, the glass shards. I can, well, 
They don't really fit in here, I don't think. I guess I'll pop them over there. Oh, got a reward for that one. Let's have a look what we got. We've got a skeleton. Okay, I mean, I don't really have anywhere to put it, but I'm sure I can find someone to put it. Maybe in a, a chest. Marriage guide for farmers. Before you ask someone to marry you, you'll have to date them for a while first. Ask someone to date you with a bouquet from Pierre's. When you're ready to pop the big question, you'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. Everyone knows what it means when you present them with one of these. It's rumoured that on st stormy days, the ghost of an old mariner appears in Stardew Valley, clasping just such a pendant. After the wedding ceremony, your partner will move in with you. Remember to treat your spouse well. They still like gifts, even after marriage. <laughs> Paid for by Pierre. Ah, uh, just that's uh, fantastic. Truly, truly marvelous. I'm glad you didn't include that that last little little bit, though, Pierre. I I mean, hopefully, no one really needed to be told that, but you know, just in case. Ah, uh, my goodness. Right, let's head on. Uh, Why wow, my inventory is full of things? I suppose I could drop by. Uh, oh, you know what? I happen to be stood here. Here you go, Melis. Wow, this is my favorite thank you. Favorite thing, thank you, rather. I can't give you another gift. I wasn't trying to, though, to be fair, but okay. Uh, also, I... I <laughs> what kind of sign? Oh, that's actually really, really cute. I was about to say, what kind of sign is it? You just walk up to someone and hand them a skeleton. Hmm, what sort of gadget should I take over this summer? Uh, I don't know. Do I have anything that you might like? I don't think I do, sadly. Well, that is most sad, actually. Try it. You go, Pam. You do good with this one, kid. Thank you. You know what, actually? I wonder if Mara would like sweet pea. This is a super gift. Thank you. Ah, oh, there we go. Marvelous. Fantastic, in fact. Ooh. Hello. Oh, Avak. You're wondering what that good smell is. Why, that's nice of you to say. I'm actually baking my famous cookies. Here, why don't you try one? Hobch. Well, what do you think? It was delicious. Thank you. I think I've come to know you well enough to give you my recipe. Just make sure to keep it a secret. Your secret is forever safe with me, Evelyn. I promise. Also, here you go. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. You're more than welcome. Good evening, George. I'm not much of a talker, especially not to strangers, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, I don't. I guess, you know, there would be no, no point in me minding, really. Hey, Aaliyah. It's a really nice gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. I found some wild fruits this morning. Sorry, I don't have any left. It's okay. I hope you enjoyed them. All right, let's have a look. Ooh, Willie's birthday's coming up. I wonder what he would like. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. I'll give 200 gold to any fisherman who catches two largemouth bass. Brr, why would they be? Are they more um, mountain lake fish? I mean, I could guess I could try. I mean, it's getting a little, perhaps a little late to go to the mines. Sure. Okay, I'll I'll try and get some largemouth bass. The other thing, ah, oh, damn it! I've got summer seeds available. You better stock up. I was going to ask you if you'd like to purchase uh, some of these uh, some of the crops I've got. But oh well, here you go. Check. Oh wow! How do you know this is my favorite? Because you like spicy things. Man. It wasn't too hard to guess. All right. Well. Let's have a quick look. Now, there, there may be a way for me to double check. I think it's a lake fish. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we're going to go up to the mountain lake and see if we can't find ourselves some largemouth bass. Though, I'm a little concerned about my inventory being kind of full right now. Hey, Demetrius. I became a scientist because I wanted to contribute to the progression of our species. Of course, none of this would be possible without farmers such as yourself. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm glad you acknowledge the, uh, the contribution that we make. Hey, Abigail. My pet guinea pig, David, just hates this hot weather. He's fussy. Well, to be fair, 
I'd probably hate really hot weather if I was a small fur furry creature as well. Not just because it's hot and I'd be a small furry creature, but also because nice, bright, clear weather like this, good for predators. What is a wonderful substance? It's versatile, cheap, strong, and each piece has its own unique character. Hey, Sebastian. We rarely get to talk. Everyone's so happy in the sun. I don't get it. I mean, I understand why they're happy. I mean, we're kind of designed to be happy in the sun. Even those of us for whom the sun really doesn't get on with very well. I mean, I really don't get on with uh, well in the sun. I still understand why other people like it, though. No, that wasn't good enough. Let's try again. No, oh, that still wasn't good enough, damn it. Ah, now it's gone. Uh, is this a sign of what my luck's going to be like in the lake today? Let us hope not. Okay, I think this is probably going to be the last cast of the night. We haven't really ended up with any largemouth bass, unfortunately. Got some carp, some bullheads, and a chub. And a few bits of green algae. Uh, but that is going to be it for our fishing, fishing escapades for tonight, I think. Instead, we shall head back down. We're gonna, gonna have to drop something in for the uh, for the community bundle that I forgot to deposit on my way up there. Uh, now, one of the things is that the large mouth bass might not actually be uh, something that we can catch when it turns nighttime, uh, which it was by the time that we got up there. So that may be uh, something I need to bear in mind. We may still be able to catch it tomorrow. That wouldn't be a terrible one. I don't think it's anything. Yeah, we, we don't have the sturgeon. We don't have the largemouth bass. We'll have to see if we can't catch that those tomorrow. So there's probably a fairly good chance of us doing some fishing on the morrow. Uh, was it? No, it won't be in the pantry here. Probably in craft unless... Let me see. Where's where's the animal bundle? Uh, construction for wild medicine, winter for... Oh, okay. So not the craft room either. Maybe the... Bulletin board? Uh, fodder bundle. There we go. That's what it's going to be. But on the plus side, probably got a decent little bit of cash there in the form of fish. So uh, that will be very, very nice indeed. Uh, oh. Well, Dread should have gotten more wheat. Well, actually, we've still got enough time. You've still got enough time to grab some more. Okay, we'll have to drop by Piers and pick up some more wheat on the morrow. Uh, we will still have an, enough time to get the, the four out of that because we've got until the 28th. So that should be... Okay, I'm glad I checked. Oh, that could have been awful. My goodness. But oh well. Uh, you know, a mistake very narrowly avoided. Very, very narrow, narrowly avoided. But uh, yeah... I, I I was getting this sort of impression that I needed more than one. That's why I bought five in the end, but I didn't imagine it was going to be that many that was needed. Uh, okay, we can... I'm tempted to take the uh, the produce and deliver it to Pierre's directly, simply because I quite like uh, giving Pierre really good quality produce. I, it makes me, makes me happy to do. But uh, for now, let's drop off the basics that we don't need to be carrying everywhere with us. Uh, we'll drop these off in the crops. I will drop those off. We'll keep one one example of the best quality. We've already got plenty of those, actually. You know what? I'll, I'll take a couple of them away. Um, and honestly... Uh... No, I think, I think we'll leave that as is. Let's go and grab the uh, mayo from in here. Sorry for disturbing you. There we go. Tonk. And we should have a fair bit of uh, of money made today. We're now starting to get to the point where pretty much every day we're the ex we expect to make a decent uh, bit on a uh, bit of cash. And uh, I guess we can drop that for sweet pea in there as well. Uh, as for the rest of these items, the coffee beans can go over here. And I think 
Well, once we're going to go to bed before 1 a.m. My goodness. Is this going to become a habit? I shouldn't think so. Still, it's nicer to do it every now and again. We actually managed to make a decent bit farming there. Yeah, and all of that was from mayonnaise. All of that was from mayonnaise. We got 710 from fishing. And that was just an afterthought level of fishing. So, all in all, 1,538. And we've still got the lion's share of the expensive produce to sell directly to PA. So, tomorrow is going to probably result in a fairly uh, hefty hefty bit of, uh, of income. Will it be enough for us to get the new rod? <laughs> I, I suspect probably not. But we can always dream. But that is going to be it from me for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>